Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Nicholas Lau from Dallas, Texas. So uh, my last video, I did that from my phone to show you how the Bitmoji app works and how I use it for my marketing. So what I'm gonna do here now is, uh, now that I'm on my desktop, is just give you a little bit of demonstration. I'm, I put the steps in the last video, most of you can probably figure it out, but I figured, you know, visual presentation always helps. So uh, you should be able to see my desktop now. So here is Canva. Um, you can just go to canva.com. If you have a Facebook account, I believe you can just log in with your Facebook account. You do not need the paid version. The free version is fine. It has everything we need. So what I do to create my YouTube thumbnails, I go to create a design. I choose the YouTube thumbnail. And we're actually gonna, what we're gonna do is create the thumbnail for this video that I'm making right now. So that should be kind of fun. So what I do is I email myself the Bitmojis. So what I do is when I'm on my phone on the Bitmoji app, what I do is, uh, hold on, one okay, so what I do is I'll copy it and I'll paste it into my Gmail app, right? The ones that I want and then I'll email it to myself. The reason I do that is because when you do that, it removes the background for some reason. If you do it any other way and just paste it, like if I go from, the Bitmoji app and just paste it onto Canva uh, on my phone, it doesn't do that. But for some reason, when you Gmail it to yourself, it does. See, if you click on it, you see all those little checkerboards in the background? That means there's no, uh, there's, there's transparency. There's no background, okay? And the reason that is important is because uh, when you choose a background, um, it won't show up. So like, let's just take this background for now. We can change it later, but let's go to my uploads. So you'll see I have all these Bitmojis here. So if I want to um, maybe use that one. And uh, see when you go Canva and you move it around, it'll kind of tell you where the, middle, where the middle is so you can line things up, which really helps so you don't have to guess. So we know that that's perfect. Okay, now we'll go to text. Um, pick a text here so we can say, tutorial how to use bitmoji app to create youtube thumbnails on canva okay and that could be the title for your video too because it has all the keywords that you need how to tutorial canva bitmoji youtube it has a bunch of uh keywords right there in the title so um, if I want to increase the size, we'll just let's try 40. Eh, 40 is a little big. How about 42? Not 42 is good. Two lines is sufficient. And if I wanted to change the color of that, change it to white, change it to blue, we can mess around with these things later. All right. So um, that's pretty much how I do it. Now, if I wanted to, um, you know, maybe put a picture of myself or something, I can. You know, sometimes I'll do something goofy like this as well, right? And um, on these pictures, on my own pictures, I go to remove.bg. So you can remove uh, backgrounds from your image. It's a really cool website to use. So um, let's see. So let's, let me see what else I can use. I can probably use this in the corner. Maybe expand this out a little bit so the desk goes all the way to the bottom. So, and um, let's change the background. Let's pick a different color. And I don't use these backgrounds that look like that. It'll, I mean, every once in a while you might find a good one, but I try to stick, stick with a solid color. It just looks nicer. Like that one looks pretty nice. So we can just change this to maybe like a yellow. Oh no, I changed the whole, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I changed the whole background. Okay, we needed to change the text on this to like a yellow. No, it's too bright. Orange. No, maybe a darker green. Okay, maybe black. Black might actually work well on this one. Black and green look good. So I don't know if I want to put a third a Bitmoji. I don't want to get too crazy. But then again, it is about Bitmojis, right? If it was a different topic, then maybe I wouldn't um, put that many. But since this is what we're talking about, and um, you'll, you'll see other weird things. It's like, okay, why is there a picture of the Popeye's chicken sandwich? because um, I'm on this weight loss journey. So I've lost like 35 pounds in the last four months or something, almost 40 pounds. And um, I was telling people that um, 
that I did it without having to starve myself. And, you know, one, one day I went to Popeye's and I actually lost weight the next day. So, you know, if I wanted to do that, I could just skip that. Okay. Um, and sometimes I'll just put my personal branding. So like my blog, which I haven't worked on in a long time. So if I wanted to do that, but that doesn't look too good. So let's just delete that. Let's just stick to the, the emojis. Yeah, this, this one's good because it has green in there. So it has a dollar sign. All right, tutorial. How do you use Bitmoji app to create YouTube? Okay, perfect. You know, um, like I said, I'm just trying to do this fast. So I'm not putting too much thought into it because, you know, you can always change your um, thumbnails later on YouTube. So that's it. And then it, it just downloads there. And uh, boom, you have your YouTube thumbnail. You just drag that onto your YouTube video and um, you are done. So that's pretty much it. There's not too much to it. I don't want to overcomplicate it or anything, but that's what I do. So um, go on your phone. I don't know if this will show up, but um, you just download the Bitmoji app. Yeah, there you go. See, there's a Bitmoji app. Just go into your app store, or your Google Play store. And then when you do that, you, when you click on it, um, or actually it becomes a part of your keyboard. I forgot to tell that. So you could add it as a part of your keyboard. So, um, you know, when you're typing and you just switch keyboards and then you have your Bitmoji keyboard. So um, that's a quick way to just send somebody a Bitmoji. And um, when you're in your Gmail and you're composing a letter, rather than compose a letter, just use a Bitmoji keyboard, copy and paste the Bitmojis you want and email it to yourself. You don't have to do them all, you know, I mean, whatever you're looking for that topic, just copy a few Bitmojis, um, email it to yourself, download it on your computer, and then upload it here using this upload button, right? So you just upload them, and then they'll just start becoming a part of your gallery over here. So, and see, here's a good example. Before I realized how to do this on, this, this is how it would look right here. It would have the white background, which I didn't want, because that means my whole background would be white. Because if I did this, see, it doesn't look good, all right? Oh, what did I just do? That sucked. Okay, there we go. All right, so that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, just leave them below in the comments. I'll get back to you. Like I said, this is just um, something I do. People uh, spend a lot of time on their thumbnails and some have really good designers. I just wanna be able to do it myself real quick. So I thought this was a cool creative way. You know, like I said, sometimes I'll put my picture in there because you don't want everybody to think you're a cartoon. So sometimes I mix it up. But I think these are uh, really attractive, the Bitmoji. So go into the Bitmoji app, create one that looks kind of like you. You could change the outfits. If you go back, I'll, I'll link my previous video to show you how to do that. You could change the outfit. You could put on glasses, hats, whatever. Um, you could change it every week or something. That way your Bitmojis have different outfits as well. Okay, so just a cool little thing that um, I like to do in my marketing. So hopefully you learned something here. Um, all my information is below if you want to reach out to me and um, please subscribe to my channel and um, you'll get more uh, alerts anytime I have a video that's uh, teaching something about marketing, make money online, whatnot. All right, so this is Nicholas Al for Dallas, Texas. Thank you very much. You all have a good day. Bye-bye.